For all these people who say I'm praying for nothing, for everybody that already put their thumbs down on me and said it's not going to be a change, it's not going to get better, I'll never recover after the thing that I did. But let me take you a step further. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Your day of victory, your day of miracles is now. You got the power to change it. You got the power to rearrange it. What's wrong with you? Check one, check two. That's right. You what's what's up, everyone? We're about to go live right now. This is DJ David Palmer, Leo King, checking on you all. I, I, guess what? It is a second full moon in Aquarius. We're gonna find out who's ready to open their gifts from Santa Claus with Jupiter here this weekend, and uh, who just wants to fucking stay in the same loop. Be with you in one sec. Doing a little sound check. You know, because I had so much fun last weekend talking to you like this. Or it was like two weeks ago, right? Yeah. So, all right. Sounds like really bad helium or something. Something like that. Um, hold up, hold up. Gotta make sure everything's all good before we go full live, live. We're live, but we're not like. Li- I mean, you know, I don't, I don't mess around. We're live, you know what I mean? But like, live with me, the Leo King live. If, if everybody could share this and like it. That helps out, get people on. That helps out actually a lot, so. Do you guys want me to be really annoying? I'll be really annoying. Everybody, hey, no music, no spiritual dance music. I'm gonna be an authoritarian like Justin Trudeau, Joe Biden, and everybody that's in the government of Australia and China. And I'm going to tell you all that if you don't like this, and if you don't listen to me and share it, and you better share it to every friend. I want you to get on this link and share it on your whole contact list on text message. If you don't do that, then no show for you. If I don't see that in the next one minute, no show. No show. That's right, no show. And for the rest of your life, you will have to wear the high vibe mask that you can buy on high vibe TV and go to our apparel. And you will have to wear a high vibe mask for the rest of your life, okay? So you guys got like 45 more seconds. 44. This is Justin Trudeau's grandfather from Cuba. This is the Castro family. If you did not listen to my little cousin, he's a little twerp. He meant business. And I'm serious. No. None of this. Yeah, I know you want to jack to some of that. I know you want to jack. But no jack for you. You just get jack shit. I want to see those numbers come up. Uh, 20 seconds? You got 20 seconds? 10, 19, 18, uh, 17, 16. Oh, don't let me get all reptilian on you. Oh my god, get that reptilian out of here! Oh my god, don't talk to me like that. Get that reptilian out of here! But you still got 15 seconds, and I need business. You better lick that button, I mean, like it. Ten. Nine. Eight, eight. Don't let me 
Countdown one minute, countdown one minute. High vibe staff, countdown one minute. Um. You guys are gonna have to give me like 
45 more seconds. I lost my jaw. Three minutes. Press next. I lost my jaw. I lost my jaw. Give me one. Just give me one sec. I need a nicotine. It's been a long month in real. Did I hit the wrong, wrong end of your vape? Or maybe I did. I don't know. What is going on, everyone? I don't know which camera I'll be on, so I'm going to be just looking at different different cameras. I might be on the one with Mikhail, actually. We have a free cam tonight. She's going to be playing around with some camera right now. Welcome to Spiritual Dance Music. If you've never been here before, I don't know where you've been. Maybe you've been out there in fake Matrix world all, all your life, but welcome to the... The one show that's been on air since October 2009 that we do the new and the full moons where we do it as giving you the astrology, the tarot, and a prayer and channeling it all down into a live dance music mix. That's right. This whole show is live. We don't mess around here. So welcome. Truly happy to have you all here. If you've never been here before, check out highvibe.tv. That's, the, of course, the studios that we're in and the network that hosts this show. Of course, this is also on my YouTube, which is The Leo King. But truly appreciate you all being here. We are here for this August the 21st through the 2nd for this full moon in Aquarius of 2021. I'm, of course, your host, DJ Astrologer, David Palmer, The Leo King. Well, what a time we are in. We are in a second full moon in Aquarius. Uranus has just retrograded. On Thursday, right before this. And that's right, I'm smoking. It's been one of those months. We're all transforming. Not like some transformer. Michael Bay's not here to blow things up. But maybe. I mean, you have to remember that this is a full moon in Aquarius. Unpredictability. This is about people. And on top of that, Uranus has just retrograded. And then add to boot. We have Jupiter in Aquarius retrograde that this full moon is going to be on top of. And this, this is the third lunation in this whole Leo month of just in the last 30 days of two full moons and a new moon. So the, the sun in Leo has been illuminated by reflective light of itself. And I want people to remember that one. Illuminated back its own light like a mirror reflector. Because remember, the sun is what creates the light. The moon is a reflector of that light. 
And so this is reflecting back at us the people that really stand in the same heart as us, the people who don't. I've noticed the people who don't. I think it's hard being a double Leo with a Venus and Leo and a Mercury and Leo. I got two Leos here. I got two king, two lions with me, you know. It's hard, you know. I look at this collective in this world and the idea of love has been lost in many ways. Everybody's lost in thinking they can tinker Aquarius and get into a science lab with Dr. Fauci and figure out their lives. Even if you are not about that life, which a lot of people who watch me are not, you are still doing it in figuring out your life. Especially about your heart and your love. And that's the truth. That's the hard truth of what this double full moon in Aquarius is about. Plus, don't forget that Mars and Mercury are in Virgo, and Mercury's at home in Virgo, and it's both in trine to Uranus during this full moon. So talk about a moment where the gift of the freedom to access a reality change, to have the future go bright for you if you have the courage to stop trying figuring it all out in a lab with an 80-year-old fucking weirdo Capricorn. Nothing against Capricorns, but he's not a good representation of Capricorn. Now there's Justin Trudeau. You starting to see the pattern here? Because control. You want control of your life and you're too blocked and you, you control issues. Uh, there's no control in Leo and Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius is about freedom and rebellion and living in your courage and living for the, the dream and living for the fucking happiness that you can find. And it's going to take you to places you've never been before. I know that sounds like a cheesy pickup line, like me going up to somebody and going, hey, baby, I'm going to take you to places that you've never been before. But I am, literally. It's not a lie. It's North Node in Gemini. It's not a belief either. If you're stuck in, well, I believe that... Love and happiness and all this connection. Well, let me give you some hardcore truth about this full moon and what we're releasing. Because Uranus just did retrograde in Taurus. Uh, guess what? If you don't have the supplies, you don't have the money, you don't have the ability to create the world that you want, you have to find people that do. So when you have all this collective blocked, you have a world that's telling you to stay segregated, because we can use that word now. It's not distanced. We already dealt, dealt with that and we're still dealing with that. Now it's segregating and distanced. You really think at the end of the day you're going to fucking get what you want to make and what you're trying to do right now and you think you're going to be able to do that alone or you think you're going to be able to do that with the people who can't get you there? You can, but you have to see who's ready. Who's ready in your life to go there and this is where we all have to have that courage and confidence to step up to that plate in our life and go, you know what? I'm done with control. I'm done with blocking myself. I'm done with realizing that I can't get what I really want unless I go this radical, gambled, spontaneous, crazy direction. That's the only fucking route left. You know, I've been channeling since 2017, and you can look it up. It's I think it was what? July? It was my first Palladian channel of 2017. I've done many Palladian channel videos, but you can look it up on YouTube. And it's the first one of a series of three when the Palladians came up to me and, well, they didn't come up. They fucking just, they show up in your fucking existence. And they, were, they, they literally were like, you need to channel this message. And they talked about this wall of the darkness coming by the end of 2017. And so I think that we're all done being in three and a half years in this, like, block state. And the only way to get through this wall for those that haven't jumped the other side of the fence already earlier is the weird crack in the gate underneath and crawling underneath in a place that you're like, no, I want to go through the main gate. The main gate's closed. The normal route is closed. The way that you think life should go is closed. Especially in your belief systems. So all that's left at this point 
is for you to truly 100% in your heart take take the risk and the gamble with Saturn and and, and Aquarius is where that first full moon came on July 23rd. Close enough to Saturn and Saturn squaring Uranus and now we have five planets retrograde? Like, you really think in your life right now you can just, in your control, go, I'm going to figure this out and keep doing the same thing I'm doing. And no, this is where you take on the radical. This is where you take on the different. This is where you take the courage. This is a sun on top of Regulus. Now, I know Regulus has moved to zero Virgo. This full moon's at 29 Leo and 29 Aquarius. But everybody that watches this show, except I know that there are some kids that watch this show that with their parents, if you were born pre-2012, you have Regulus and Leo at 29. Now, if you're really old, which I love those, I love the elders. If you're in your 80s and 90s and you watch this show and you get down and boogie with me, you might have it at 28 degrees. It's a 72-year procession of Regulus. So this is calling in your life. Do you have the heart of the lion? Do you have, do you have the heart that beats that, that courage and that love and that fierceness in your life for love? Or are you so disconnected from it, from a belief system, because the south node is in Sag, Jupiter is in Aquarius, so guess what? Jupiter is falled in a way of the illusion of, I can figure this out with Fauci and figure out this crazy... The crazy experiment is to do the same thing that you keep doing to try and fix something that's not working and keep doing it the same way, the same person, and just continually just doing the same cycle over and 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 over again and over again and over again. And that ain't going to work no more. I like how somebody just brought up Braveheart. Whenever, you know what? All I see in the collective right now is everybody go, no, we will survive. We will go home. We will, we will, be, we will, we will survive. And he goes, survive? Sure. Go back to what? <laughs> and there's that moment where they, he turns that whole entire Scottish army around. Because the only way in this moment for you in your life is to move forward into a place that you're terrified to go, into a place that you are like, there's no way that it could even happen. That's what Aquarius is. That's what Uranus is. That's what all this is with the backing of Leo is the impossible is possible and the possible is impossible in your mind. So I don't know I don't know what really to tell people at this point except that this you know and somebody brought up the lion's gate which was the new moon right we're only halfway through that new moon cycle and here's the peak with Jupiter to give us a gift if we're able to get through the delusions of ourself that believe that we can't have what we know actually in our futuristic selves can see but it's like we're too blocked or we're too fearful or we think well something else might turn up i want a different route to turn up there is no more different routes to show up like i'm sorry to say it's five planets retrograde we're gonna have a mercury retrograde coming up soon it's gonna be six planets retrograde the only planets that'll be directed coming up here this is gonna be the hardest three months that we're gonna live through you thought last year was tough you thought you thought all that shit was tough you better know who you're with. We got Mars trying your honest right now. It's time for you to have the balls and courage to go in a different direction to change your physical reality to get what you need in your life and to connect with the community, the people, the relationships with Venus and Libra. Come on, this is Venus and Libra. This is all about relationships. This is the sun in Leo. This is the moon in Aquarius. If you could pick three signs dealing with love and relationships, what would you pick? You'd pick Leo, you'd pick Libra, and you'd pick Aquarius. There's no other three that deal with relationships or love. Zero. And all three are happening during this one. And even if you add Jupiter, who is the one who marries Juno, huh? We got Saturn making a good aspect of Juno. We got South Node with Juno. 
There's so much here that I am just in mind boggle that people are blocked. It's like, the, I'm so glad that somebody brought Braveheart. It really is those people that are like, no, we will go home. And we will do the same thing that we always do. And we will not fight. And like literally look like an idiot. And it's my job here not only to give you astrology for over 10 years every fucking day and to show up in the media and show up and fucking be made fun of to, of course, blast by people who do like what I have to do. But as a double Leo and a full-blown Leo, purebred with Mercury and Venus too and Juno and Vesta and Isis and rising and the sun, I would not be doing my job right now if I did not rally the troops to remember that this reflective energy of this full moon and even Jupiter right now, don't forget that the light comes from your heart and whether or not you can do it or not. And whether or not you're going you're gonna to change this life now for the best for yourself or you're going to fall into... You, you, you want to know the answer to defeat this whole crazy world and the cult that has started and the world and the weird shit that everybody's so afraid of, love. You know what's missing on the planet? You don't see love anymore. You don't see people falling in love. You don't see fucking love anymore. You just don't, don't see it. You don't see people sh screaming from the rooftops. You don't see it even in the media, right? It's like, oh, we're supposed to get off on the love of what? Ben and Jennifer? And, like, like, are you really? Benifer? But they are two Leos. Y you really think that watching, uh, what is it, Courtney and Travis? You think that's like a really good fucking example of love right now? I'll call it out. It just looks like fucking more media bullshit. I hope that they got more going on. Yeah, maybe A-Rod didn't make it, even though he's another Leo. He probably had a little rod from too much juice. You know what I mean? When the guys start juicing themselves up, yeah, they get a little pee-pee. <laughs> they get a little pee-pee. That's because they don't have the courage to just be who they are. They got to pump themselves up with some of Fauci ouchies. That's what Aquarius is, trying to try and reinvent the heart, try and reinvent the natural courage from God and the divine that the lion roars and knows. Of course I want them to be happy. I'm just saying that's our examples right now. So today we are going to do an awesome ceremony. We're going to do the cards. Then I'm going to do a prayer. We're going to all in this prayer release everything blocking our hearts. Everything because Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius. But we have this awesome Mars trying your honest. We have this awesome Mercury trying your honest. We have amazing transits right now. And if you're going to miss out on Santa Claus, Jupiter's gifts that this full moon's trying to bring in and open your life to a whole new perspective, a whole new world in a different way, and everybody's going to have to come together. And, and the your hard part of your honest and Taurus is everybody's got their own values. And we're going to have to all find a compromise on and find the similar stuff. It's not going to all get, we're all not going to get everything we want the exact way. But we do together, and people are going to have to realize that. And that's one of their biggest problems in the world is everybody's just like, no, I'm going to wait till something shows up exactly the way I want it to. Good fucking luck. Let me give you this track for a second while I, ch I uh, do a little bit of card shuffle. With I, I brought the unit. I brought the unicorns out. Yeah, I did.
Yo, 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 we are back uh, live right now here on Spiritual Dance Music for HiveVibe.tv. Make sure that you join HiveVibe.tv and be a member. Also, if you've not been part of Hypergate yet, every week, we got five more weeks left. Hypergate, the spiritual school right now that I'm doing that is beyond like any school that's ever been done. I, I call it Hypergate Astrology School. It ain't even about astrology. It's so much more. It has gone to the future of all spirituality. It is mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing myself teaching it. Definitely don't want to miss out. It's only $200. You already can watch 12 hours of content, and we're filming live with you as part of the class another five four-hour classes every week. So go to Hypergate by going to highvibe.tv, click on schools, click on Hypergate. I was looking for a little bit of my elixir. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what's in the cards for our, this full moon in Aquarius, the second one. What are we releasing? What is going on? Let's see what's going on. First card that we got here is the Three of Cups in Reversed. Well, Three of Cups reversed. Ain't no party going on, or at least this is also a very social card. We need to take a look at who we hang around in our social lives, and where's the real party at? Are we lying to ourselves and being like, yeah, this is great. And we're really like looking at the exit door and then, no, 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 no. I'm happy here. I'm fine. We got the death card reversed. Afraid to leave the bad party. Some sort of transformation is trying to take place, but there's the block. I'm going to pull a card on that. What's that block about? Six of swords reversed. Too afraid to go to the better energy in life too afraid to go to the new destination wow it's pretty confirming what's our challenge four pentacles we have the four pentacles as the challenge card here ah, we find too much value in something that is not the party we want to be at and the place that we really don't want to be that's that's a problem you know that'd be like me with my jewel being like yeah give me give me the some Snapchat weird flavor. No, I just want the menthol one. I have a party on that shit, you know what I mean? This is my, like, vice since I quit drugs and alcohol so long ago. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, are we really going to stop ourselves from changing our lives and going in the direction we know we want to go in our lives, that we feel, that we see, that we... That we are excited about. Also, we got to really look at the people. I mean, this is very Aquarian. Moon, full moon, second full moon, Aquarius, and with Uranus direct, and fucking er, retrograde, sorry, and fucking on Jupiter in Aquarius retrograde with Saturn. That is retrograde in Aquarius. Squaring Uranus. I mean, this is definitely like, are we sure these are the people? Like, what the fuck? For me, you know, my social life, I don't have one. I got my employees, they're, they're all on the same page. My family, but people, it's, this is about people outside of those things. This is like, what's your crew out there? Who are your friends? That's what circles into the fifth house of the Leo where the sun is about love. Like, Wow, we got the three of swords in reverse as our overall. At least I, I like this. This is us, you know. I mean, it's still a three of swords. There's a heartbreak. I always look at the three of swords reversed as avoiding a heartbreak by, you know, not staying in a heartbreak. But at the same time, it's like usually there's a heartbreak to get into the opposite of a heartbreak. So, you know, it's like people are kind of on that, you know, stagnation city and afraid of the heart and afraid of... Well, if I go to what I really want, then what happens to that? I'm here to tell you, do you think that when, I'm going to be real, when a homeless person asks for cash and you give it to them or food and you give it to them and then you go, I'm worried about them. Do you drive back and follow them and sleep with them in their tent and hang out with them for fucking the next 10 months? No. And that's what you're doing with shit that you know you shouldn't be doing. Spiritual advice card is the king of cups upright. Well, hey, this is our outcome, spiritual advice. It's time to put our feelings where we really want to go and be the king of those cups. 
There's a lot of feelings here, and there's a lot of feelings that we can have and that we will have, right? Let's get a confirmation on that Three of Swords reversed. Oh, temperance. We want something that's real, not fake. We're done being with energy that just doesn't feel natural and feel good and feel like supernatural. When it comes to love, it's just a love reading I'm going to pull. And then I'll pull some unicorns. We got four swords, not feeling comfortable in reverse. Definitely feeling anxious about our love situations in our life right now. Definitely don't feel like we know where the safe place is or where the emotions rest. We got the Wheel of Fortune, though. This is about letting go of control and letting weird, random, fortunate events happen. And, 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 and that's all that we can do is that we are un comfortable in a way because we know that it's going to come in a radical way with the wheel of fortune and we have to allow that to happen our challenge card is the page of cups in reversed feel like nobody's communicating the emotions fully or we feel like we're maybe going through a hard emotional moment or not knowing how to express it or we're timid or shy to express our emotional offers or what we really want to do emotionally this could definitely also i'm, I'm feeling insecurities or or hiding something emotionally about uh, something in the past emotionally or worried about what somebody would think if you dropped it or just fear of just dropping the emotional bomb. Got a five of swords here is the overall. I mean, I, we got to stand up for what we want and not be so timid and shy. And we, we got to step into the radical wheel of fortune. We got to step into getting out of these uncomfortable places. I mean, if you look at the first reading overall, it's pretty clear. It's not like this is like going sitting in some fucking camp for the rest of your life like hello that's not here yet yet at least you know if you're around the right energy if you get end up in a camp you got that person with you in the camp good luck trying to find love in the camp Spiritual advice card that we got is the star card. This is, a, this, this is awesome. King of Cups, star card. Fresh new beginnings. I mean, it is the card of getting naked. <laughs> but it is a card of being naked with one with the stars in the universe. And when it comes to our love lives, it's, it's, it's a, the star card to me is a blessing. It's, 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 it's how we go through a baptism in many ways and and let god and let the the stars and the divine guide us where's the stars and the divine guiding us for love and and letting go of everything and trusting in that direction why did we get that card we're going to do a couple of things well, well, let's see what the wheel of fortune's about seven of pentacles reversed we're getting out of where we've put a lot of work in and not got back out what we invested in so with people why? What are we shy or the emotions weird about that aren't being communicated? The Emperor card. No, oh, too afraid to just say what you really want, or maybe you've said things and then didn't get what you want, and it's challenging. But you gotta let things work their course. By at least, hey, it's right now better to say what you want to say than not, and not miss out on these opportunities of these different amazing places to go what do we get that star card for we got the empress reverse that's because we're not building the things in life that we want to build that we're not feeling supported or able to create or manifest the life we want till we go into this what you would think would be a start over or starting with nothing but really you're gonna gain everything what's up with needing to stand up more and speak up more queen of wands we need to step up for the love that we want in our life with that five of swords when it comes to the unicorn cards, I'm just going to pull some unicorns here to see what's up. I am presence. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. So this is about stepping into that courage of who you really are and what you really want in your life. Stop doing what you don't want to do anymore. You're not going to get that presence and you're not going to get to the stellar gateway that's there. The second card that we got here is the enter the magic. Live in the new or not live in the now. Seize the moment. This is definitely a moment to seize of the presence that you want to have, the presence that you want to be, and the person that you are and what you really want. Uh, I'll, I'll pick a third one here. Go with the flow. Relax and trust and accept what is happening. Let's get some confirmation on these. What's up with the presence card? Seven of Wands. That presence, you got to stand into what it is. The Seven of Wands has valor, and it only gets victor by staying in its 
higher position of life of who that person is within yourself and not countering away from that. What's up with this Enter the Magic? Wow, Page of Swords. That, that magic's fast coming. One of the fastest cards in the deck. And it's showing up quick. Like, let's go. Let's figure this out. Actually, this is in this deck, the Knight of Swords. Sorry, which is the fastest card in the deck. Enter the magic is happening to fix your life fast. Now. And what's up with this go with the flow? Queen of Cups reversed. You got to let go of the things that aren't emotionally holding any weight anymore for you or not nurturing you anymore. Like... Whatever's happening, you have to accept it by letting go. This is a letting go with going with the flow and letting you go down in the place that you want to go. And I'm going to do one overall here of what we are, what we should focus on when it comes to love, just in all parts of our lives and just the overall message of what this full moon and these double full moons and this new moon on the lion's gate and Mars trying Uranus and all these amazing things that are happening here. We got manifest your dreams, no joke. The 22 card, focus on your vision, seek satisfaction and contentment. Oh, shit. Damn. That's what this is about. But this, we got we to gotta go there. We got to let go of all this shit. Let's see what that confirmation card and the final card here from the Illuminati Tarot is. The Nine of Cups. I don't know what to tell you all, but like all the emotions you've ever wanted in your life to lead to the ultimate dream, you have to be positive, you have to be open emotionally, and you have to open the doorways to get manifest your dreams at this point. I know there's, I'm getting from my guys. People want to know a little bit more detail about a couple more things. One, what's a sign about situations? Pick a situation in your life that you're having a problem with right now. And we're going to pick one of each. And we're going to do one for your general life, not a person. And then the second one we'll do for a person. Or people or situations in that area. Some people are dealing with lots of people. What do we need to know, divine God, from how to get to these dreams just in our overall, just general life right now? We got open your heart, love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. Hmm. It's the nine card, taking action. The confirmation with that is the ten of swords. Stop doing the same thing that we've been doing over and over and over again. The pattern has to end of not opening our hearts. And, or opening our hearts to the wrong direction and the wrong thing. Now pick a relationship or your relationship, your love situation right now. What divine can we get for the insight of this to understand it? Caring community, participate and belong, enrich in your life. It's about enriching your life, about being around the right people. And when it comes to love around people who have the same ideas about the community. and But it also, I feel like, is expanding your community, right? Because a caring community is one that takes everybody to a new place where we all find each other in a new way and we got the nine of swords reverse stop being so afraid about the shifts that are going to go on about with people right now in your life there's nothing to freak out about if anything you're, you're going to keep freaking out about staying in the same place and the last card just one tarot here i'll cut the deck How, how are we going to stay in our light and step into these dreams and defeat this dark spell that is trying to take over the universe, but it's done a good job blocking a bunch of people's hearts. Wow, the nine of wands. We need to, we need to know the strength we have. We got to hold ground for the light. We got to hold ground for God. And we got to defend that position in our lives. And anything that tries to take you from that is not divine. Anything that's not trying to empower you more spiritually and to step into a higher spiritual life path and life force is not from the good. Well, I appreciate you all for being part of the terror. We're going to go into the live prayer now and then live into the DJ mix. So just give me a second here as I...
clean these off my Pioneer mixer here. You look good reading. I'm going to have a wet dream after that reading tonight. I don't know what those... I, I saw the article today. It was actually a major article in Financial News. OnlyFans is done. No more, no more too risque on there. So I guess it's back to wet dreams. I'm sure OnlyFans girl. Then I'm just gonna say it out there for for you know. I don't like anybody not having to be able to make what they want to make. I know OnlyFans girls were making about a million a month, some of them. But you know. Say prayer for them because I know there's an OnlyFans freak out in the world happening right now. I just watched. This is I, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna be real because I don't lie, but I was just like I'm a I'm a fucking comedian. I'm like I just watched like a thousand people get back on their Instagram, and start pushing their booties out, and being like, "Hey, hit me up, DM me." Oh shit! I always told people that, that life just isn't gonna go far. I have nothing against it, but the divine is obviously not wanting people down that road right now because it's wanting real love. It's not wanting this artificial love right now. So, like, like porn and all that, like, I have nothing against it, but, you know, this is about real love. And, and, and this is not about having a fake relationship with a fucking messenger or, you know... It's just the truth. So, before I pray to God, I'm going to take a hit of my jewel. I don't want to hit my jewel while I pray to God. I have a lot to release with you all. Dear Almighty God, thank you so much for your giving us this beautiful life, but more importantly, the love that you have seeded within us from your own divine love. On this full moon and this special next second full moon that you've given us in the sign of Aquarius, the next house in the ages of time that are shifting into this house. I know that there's a lot of artificial love out there. There's a lot of people being lost in fixing things or just ideas of how the world should be or could be. But we are the ones that step into your love more and step into your light more and create that life, not this idea that's out there, not this idea that's out there so far beyond the horizon in the future that we hesitate. You don't hesitate on us, God. You don't put us longer down on the timeline or longer down on the list when we call for your help through our prayers or even when we are in our just most magnificent or troubling times, you don't even have a line. You are right there immediately with your heart, with your graciousness and your love. And tonight, Lord, as I pray to you under this full moon and as I come to all the people that watch this and all the people around this universe and all the beings around the world and every part of places that we can't even define or understand. Then I ask for your help, your grace, and your guidance for us all to release the blocks that society, that the idea of what the, our world should look like, to let go, help us release the control, help us release the things that don't work out, to disconnect from, to get us back to our true heart, to our true happiness, to our true love, to our true loving self, to our true loving species. But more importantly, we have to focus on our own love. And I know it's during the time of Noah's Ark that you brought pairs of two in. We live in a yin and a yang, a positive and negative, a sun and a moon. We live in a life where there is this beautiful, beautiful dualistic nature. And that love has two parts always, whether it's me praying to you, God, and the love that you give to me and I give back to you. Or the love that I share between this DJ mixer and myself. That it's the pairing right now 
that we are all learning of where we unpair. We unpair that Bluetooth connection to that speaker or to that object that we have felt that we can't let go of that is not bringing our heart, not bringing our fire, not bringing our true energy force into our lives the way that we can truly manifest the dream life. It is not from authoritarians and people and men and women on this planet that are trying to create the system of how life should be. It is the people, it is the humanity that does. And even part of the things for all of us to release God that I know might be difficult for many is to release even the fear that we are going to lose our freedoms and our natural rights that you give us every day or that we are going to be alone for the rest of our lives because so many are damaged and have all gone through this tyrannical dark spell that the fallen have put upon this great earth that you've warned about, that you have shown us how to decipher what is from you, the divine, and what is not. And I know there's a lot of people right now that are tired. They feel hopeless. They feel alone. Even when they might feel like they have found their partner or their ultimate job or just trying to find a way to get some food on the table. I... I empathize with, with everybody, and I, I, I emphasize the most with you, Lord, and, and the weight that you carry for all of us, that we're all still here. We're still all here in a world and in a beautiful universe where we could have the loveliest, most positive future and dreams all now. And I ask you, Lord, to help us release all those things that are not allowing us to step into the moment now, your grace, your love, your happiness, your blissfulness that is just pouring an ecstasy that we are to dip our souls in now. Please help us release the chips off our shoulder, the quick reactions in life to things, the controlling mechanisms that the dark has been using on us that they are turning us into those controlling mechanisms within our own happiness and our own self and our own love. I ask you to help us, Lord, more than ever during this time because I know and I see as the Leo that you created me to be, a society that has lost excitement for love, has embraced segregation, whether it's going to a supermarket to get the food that we eat, to the restaurants, the, to be with others that we love, to go see a concert, with people that we can thrive with. I ask you to help us relieve the energy of us feeling like we're hopeless because of these things. And for us to step more into that love and to stand like there's more leaders that are here now than ever that you've brought on this earth, Lord. And, it, and it's hard for me as a Leo to see a society that is living like a robot society that wants to have everything figured out and programmed and understood and controlled and help us relieve our stubbornness but keep our sovereignty. Help us relieve us from our inner spiritual greeds and revitalize us with our values and our strength in valuing the new and the exciting. Help us not be afraid of the radical new directions that you are taking us, the instantaneous spontaneity, spontaneity that you bring us in this moment. Help us walk through this. Help us step into the courage, into the unknown. Help those out there that are so under the spell wake up to remember that this is humanity and this is a humanity built from God. Not petty tyrants, not petty authoritarians, not people that try to become idols in this control position that don't empower freedom and that don't empower their message through you, God. God. 
that please help even me release the energy that people think I'm some crazy, radical, spiritually pseudoscienced out person for knowing that the only truth is the truth when people speak in this planet about things that come from the divine, from you, and give you credit for it. That everything else is a shill. And it plays in our own personal lives. As above, so below. And I know that whatever you're dealing with up there, Lord, with those that are doing the same to maybe you up there, to what they're doing to us down here, and you're still holding the weight for us and giving us all that love and showing up every moment, God bless you, Lord. God bless you for the power that you show us that we all can be learning from every day, be guided from every day, and respect on the highest level because that integrity, that love is more than just respect and integrity or honor. It is not only just humbling, but it is beyond glory. It is the highest of spiritual honor that anybody could experience to feel. And I ask you to, to channel that within all of us. And for those that don't even know that exists, to help them walk through those doors and stop walking down the same doors that lead to the purgatory that traps them, and to not give in to even the system that's trying to segregate us. I know that they feel like they're doing the right thing to continue their lives by trying to go around the system while staying in the system. We know that, and we have been warned by you through so many different voices and prophets and 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 prophecies that this is not about trying to ad adjust in the system. This is about not complying with the dark system and sitting in our divine truth through you, Lord. Give us that strength. I know you do, Lord. I pray for it every day. I pray for it on the whole world. I pray for it for all those that listen right now. I ask everybody to be blessed in this moment, to seize the moment of this love and this eternal love and to release our pains, and to release our sufferings, and to release all that into compassion, to openness, to excitement, and to a brand new, untamed, radical self that is connected and powered by the divine and living in that etheric fire and happiness. I love you so much with all my heart, Lord. I love all the people of this world, of this universe, and that support me and that are willing to listen to my prayer for them, for myself, and to you. Amen. All right, everyone, make sure that you join us right now live. Make sure that you share this out. We're going to have a really good time. We don't play around here. This whole thing's going to turn into a full thing with graphics, everything, live tracks, live music. It's no joke. Sending you all my best. Love you all very much. Make sure that you join Hypergate. It's so much fun. Sending you all the best love on this, on this full moon in Aquarius. Don't mess with this one. We are coming into a very intense time, and it's now where you take these gifts. You step into things this weekend. You literally change your life this weekend. I know I sound crazy, but I'm not. And this is that time. This is that moment. This is that beautiful moment. For us all to step into that, it's this beautiful moment for us not to be afraid anymore. It's this beautiful moment for us to stop putting things on hold. They've already sent a world after you to sit it on hold. Let's pray for Australia right now. Let's pray for every place that tyranny is drowning people around this planet. Let's pray for Canada right now. Let's pray for all these other countries in the world that are targets by this crazy, crazy people that are trying to even control places they don't even understand or the people.
I love you all with all my heart. Let's get this rolling. Sending you my best. Let's do it right now. I read that the former United States is so desperate for medical supplies that they have allegedly sent several containers filled with wheat and tobacco. A gesture, they said, of goodwill. You want to know what I think? You listen to my show, so I will assume you do. I think it's high time we let the colonists know what we really think of them. I think it's payback time for a little tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. For us a few hundred years ago. I say we go down to those docks tonight and dump that crap. To those docks tonight and dump that crap where everything from the ulcered sphincter of our Serica belongs. Who's with me? Who's bloody with me? USA, ulcered sphincter of our Serica. I mean, what else can you say? It was a country that had everything, absolutely everything. And now, 20 years later, is what? The world's biggest leper colony. Why? Godlessness. Let me say that again. Godlessness. It wasn't the war they started. It wasn't the plague they created. It was judgment. No. It wasn't the plague they created. It was the plague they created. It was It wasn't the plague they created. It wasn't the plague they created. It wasn't the plague they created. It was the judgment. No one escapes their past. No one escapes judgment.
creator wanted to play, they created implicit judgment. No one escaped their past. It wasn't the war they started. It wasn't the play, they created implicit judgment. I read that the former United States is so desperate for medical supplies that they have allegedly sent several containers filled with wheat and tobacco. A gesture, they said, of goodwill. You want to know what I think? You're listening to my show, so I will assume you do. I think it's high time we let the colonists know what we really think of them. I think it's payback time for the little tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. I can't really think of it. I think it's payback time for the little tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. The tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. The little tea party they threw for us a few party they threw for us. The tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. I say we go down to those docks tonight and dump that crap where everything from the ocean sphincter of our Serica belongs. Who's with me? Who's bloody with me? USA, Alcid Sphincter of our Seliga, and what else would you say? Had, 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 everything. And now, 20 years later, is what? The world's biggest leopard bomb. Why? It is what? The world's biggest leopard colony. Why? Godlessness. Godlessness. Godlessness.
I will I will of course you'd like to tell Mientras es a la mía yes. y le da de beber Todo es agua Todo es agua You have in your possession certain belongings You have in your possession certain belongings of the specific targeting of officers during the operations. Okay, you must know that in civilized warfare, officers in the field must not be accorded an appropriate, appropriate levels of hostile attention. Do you want me to appropriate? Imagine the utter 
chaos, this, 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 the leader is harmless, having an end. Let's be gentlemen and command, please, and 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 It, crack it, twitch, update it, night it, cut it, paste it, 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 load it, check it, kick it, kick it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, and zip, 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 If that's your position, 18 of your officers will have to die. 19 if you have My officers. Sir. Thank you. 
Ten lieutenants, five captains, three majors, and a very fat female. Cheeky fellow. Cheeky fellow.
body back and forth Move my 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 body back and forth that you need to know and I'm not being rude but this is just work work
Break the law. Ganja. Break the law. Ganja. Break the law. Ganja. Break the law.
Let it drag it, play it, burn it, strip it, crack it, grab it, zip, unzip it, lock it, fill it, curl it, find it, view it, curl it, jump and lock it, turn it, scroll it, close it, crack it, cross it, crack it, click it, save it, cut it, get it, place it, save it, load it, check it, play it, write it, drag it, play it, burn it, rip it, crack it, drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it, fill it, curl it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, night it, get it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, crack it, drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, night it, get it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, crack it, drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, night it, get it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick,
that the former United States is so desperate for medical supplies that they have allegedly sent several containers filled with wheat and tobacco. A gesture, they said, of goodwill. You want to know what I think? Well, you're listening to my show, so I will assume you do. I think it's high time we let the colonists know what we really think of them. I think it's payback time for a little tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. I say we go down to those docks tonight and dump that crap where everything from the house and stinker of our Seneca belongs. Who's with me? Who's with me? Who's with me? Who's bloody with me?
Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, tire you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, 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 hate. only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Lord is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men. In the 17th chapter of St. Lucas is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Chapter of St. Lucas is written, the kingdom of God is within man. The kingdom of God is within man. The kingdom of God is within man. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness, you the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure, then in the name of democracy, let us use that power, let us all unite, let us fight for a new world. That will give you the future and old age of security. I promise that these things, brutes have risen to power. But they. Brutes have risen to power. 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 But they lie. They do not fulfill. They lie. They do not fulfill. They do not fulfill their promise. They never will.
freedom consistent with law and order, or down to the anti totalitarian. And regardless of their sincerity, their humanitarian motives, those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course. Security have embarked on this downward course. Those who would trade our freedom. Those who would trade our freedom for security. Those who would trade our freedom for those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course. In this boat harvesting time, they use terms like the Great Society, or as we were told a few days ago. Thank God for the brave sons of the United Kingdom and the United States who defeated the Nazis. Who defeated the Nazis? Who defeated the Nazis and the Nazi regime and liberated millions from tyranny? The bond between our nations was forever sealed in that great crusade. Crusade. As we honor our shared victory and heritage, we affirm the common values that will unite us long into the future. Into the future. Freedom, sovereignty, self-determination, the rule of law, and reference for the rights given to us by given to us by Almighty God. 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 From the Second World War to today, Her Majesty has stood as a constant symbol of these priceless traditions. She has embodied the spirit of dignity, duty, and patriotism that beats proudly in every British heart. On behalf of all Americans, I offer a toast to the eternal friendship of our people, the vitality of our nation, and to the long-cherished and truly remarkable reign of Her Majesty the Queen.
One day someday, the sun will set on the mountain and will rise with you as the new king. And this will all be mine? Everything. What about that shadow? That's the arm. You should never go there. But I thought a king can do whatever he wants. Oh, just let it be the king getting your way all the time. What? Simba. Everything you see exists together. You have a balance. As king, you need to understand that balance and respect all the creatures, from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. Dad, don't we eat the animals? Yes, Simba, but let me explain. When we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass. And so, we are all connected in the great circle of life. Activated. The portal to illuminating the collective consciousness has finally opened. 